So our good sis Lizzo went to the Lakers game and bared her black bottom. And she did it to say that she was paying homage to Prince. Remember his performance where he had the little leopard print and the little booty cheeks and that? Yeah. So this has gotten people all up in arms. So I kind of want to just start the discussion. How do y'all feel? Do y'all feel like people are just body shaming and fat shaming because other people do it like if meg did it would y'all still have that same energy if cardi b did it would y'all still have that same energy i am plus size and i would never do anything like this like and i'm very confident i was raised to have confidence no matter what and i just think like i love lizzo but she's starting to do a little too much for me like like how do y'all feel because i'm torn like i see both sides like I get it. She's trying to create a narrative. I don't think Lizzo has perfected the publicity thing because she didn't drop her video and y'all checking for her. So, who <laughs> got it? <laughs> so, I now have some clips of her live and she is basically addressing like y'all uncomfortable and co uncomfortable so for a word. Um, I'm feeling really good as hell. And I hope that this song makes you feel good as hell i hope that the video can inspire you to feel good as hell i hope that seeing um representation of you know black girl band nerds which you don't really see you see us glorified you feel us you see us triumph i hope that that inspires you and um I just hope everybody has a wonderful day. Like, I'm really having the best time. I just want y'all to know, like, it doesn't really matter. So I just hope that, <clears throat> you know, who I am and the essence of me and the things that I choose to do as a grown-ass woman can inspire you to do the same. You don't have to be like me. You need to be like you. And never, ever let somebody stop you or shame you from being yourself. Like... This is who I've always been. Now everyone's looking at it. And your criticism can just remain your criticism. Your criticism has no effect on me. Negative criticism has no stake in my life, no control over my life, over my emotions. I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'm surrounded by love and I just want to spread that love and also spread these cheeks. And, you know, if you really, really don't like my ass, you can kiss it. Because kissing it makes it go away, I promise. <laughs> um, I just want y'all to know, like, it doesn't matter what goes on on the Internet. Like, nothing really breaks my joy. I'm a really solid, grounded person, and I know that... I'm shocking because you've never seen in a long time a body like mine doing whatever it wants to do and dressing the way that it dresses and moving the way that it moves, um, you know, but I don't ever want to censor myself because I'm suddenly famous or I don't want to censor myself because everyone's looking at me now. I'm not going to quiet myself. I'm not going to shrink myself <laughs> because somebody thinks that I'm not sexy to them. <laughs> Bitch, you really think because somebody on Twitter think that I'm not cute, I'm going to stop existing. <laughs> So, you know, I don't really like to address negativity, but I'm having such a great day and good as hell um, with the human jukebox and the fabulous dancing dolls is out. And um, this is like my morning hair and my makeup from last night all smeared and I feel beautiful um, in my new house. Y'all, let me show you this real quick. Period, pool. Good morning. In my king size bed. I'm just, I'm blessed. And I want you to know that you're blessed. 
I want you to know that you woke up this morning and that's a blessing. I want you to know the sun is shining somewhere. That's a blessing. Even if it's raining, it's cleansing you. It's a blessing. I want you to know that whatever you're going through, if it doesn't feel good, that you will feel good again. Do you um, ignore any negative comments or critiques about yourself because they're not real? They're just someone else's insecurities or someone else's desire to be liked, to be funny. And you're just someone that they use for that because they, they're lacking attention somewhere. Somebody didn't hug them. Somebody didn't say they love them enough. So unfortunately, they're attention deprived. And so they just use um, negative words and hurtful words so they can be popular. It's really sad. But, you know, I feel I feel more bad for those people than upset. You know, when someone is just so angry at my body or someone is so quick to just make a joke about my body that's hurtful. I'm like, wow, who who didn't love you? Wow. And a lot of people are asking advice for their children who are being teased. That is my advice. I think. People who say hurtful things have been hurt. And even if they haven't really been hurt, there's some, there's some sort of lack there, some sort of neglect. You know what I'm saying? And whatever that is, you know, you just have to use um, non-complimentary behavior and kind of like ignore it, which I know is hard because it still hurts, but also rationalize it. You have to rationalize the the bully, you know, because what they do is really irrational. Someone is so angry at something, at a body that isn't even theirs, or at a human being that's not them. That don't make no sense. Somebody's bullying them, whether it's at home, whether they bully themselves, and those people are normally very unhappy. And if, even when they seem happy, like the people who used to bully me when I was going to school are really unhappy now. And I would never bully them back.